Hey guys, welcome back for another box office prediction video. A prediction video that marks the very first week of play in the Predictions with Perry Fantasy Movie League. If you are watching this video within three hours of it going online, that means you still have time to sign up and make your picks for this week to enter in the overall league. So get on that if you haven't already. I'll include a link to the league in the description section of this video, as well as the password to join the private league. So get on that. Now it is on to a recap of what happened last week. I actually went five for five. I got the order right. Some of my numbers were off. And yet again, I couldn't be happier that they were off because you know what? It meant a quiet place really outdid my expectations. So here we go. Rampage began its run on top with $35.8 million, followed by A Quiet Place, which is just crushing it right now with a whopping $33 million for its second weekend out. Number three went to Truth or Dare, which wound up topping my prediction and making $18.7 million. Then it was Ready Player One at number four, taking a pretty big hit in weekend three, but still making another $11.5 million. And then lastly, it's Blockers at number five with $10.8 million. So now that Dewey is... Uh comfortable and ready for box office predictions. Let's move on to my number five pick, which admittedly might be a challenge to pinpoint this time around. So I do think that Super Troopers 2 has a shot of taking this spot and coming in in the top five of the box office, but it's going to depend on how much Ready Player One drops. I do think that Ready Player One's percent change is coming down from what happened last weekend, but I still think that it's last weekend's profits are likely getting slashed in half, and that would leave it with less than $6 million. And with Super Troopers, I'm looking back to the first Super Troopers movie, which came out in 2002, opened with $6.2 million. And even though that was a long time ago, I think in this instance, it might be a case where more people have discovered the movie and it might actually draw a bigger crowd, maybe even coming in with an opening weekend total similar to Broken Lizard's Beer Fest. And that would put it at number five with $7 million. Now at number four, I have Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare opened pretty strong, but I don't think that means it's gonna steer clear of that dread big weekend two hit that a lot of horror movies do see. Looking at some Blumhouse productions, actually, Happy Death Day opened a little bigger than Truth or Dare, but it fell really hard in weekend two, dropping 64%. On the other hand, though, we could look at Ouija, which opened with about the same amount as Truth or Dare, and that movie only fell 46% in weekend two. But we do need to recognize the fact that that movie's weekend two was Halloween weekend, and it's only really big new competition that weekend was Nightcrawler. So I do think it's more likely that Truth or Dare is heading down the Happy Death Day path right now, but I don't think it's going to drop as much. But even if it loses 60% of its opening profits, that still leaves it with about $7.5 million, and I think that might be good enough to lock number four this time around. Moving on to my number three, that is where I have the newcomer, I Feel Pretty. For this one, I started by looking at two things, Amy Schumer's track record and also STX. STX, its highest opening weekend yet, is still Bad Moms with $23.8 million. So I think that is the absolute ceiling here. No way that I Feel Pretty is crossing that number, and also I don't think it's coming anywhere close to that. So switching gears and looking at Amy Schumer, her recent release, Snatch, which came out last year, that movie opened with $19.5 million. But again, I don't think I Feel Pretty is touching that number either. That movie had Fox backing it up. It also had Amy Schumer paired with Goldie Hawn, which was a draw. And then on top of that, it definitely got a little bit of a boost from the Mother's Day weekend release. So with all of that in mind, I'm thinking that I Feel Pretty is coming in with at least $5 million less than that one. So I'm going to put it at number three with its opening weekend total being at $14 million. Now it's time for my number two pick. And as much as I wanted to see A Quiet Place stay at number one two weekends in a row, it's looking like I'll have to settle for a number one, a number two, and then back to a number one because my number two pick this weekend is Rampage. I am willing to bet that Rampage continues to perform very well overseas, but I do think it's in for a bit of a dip at the domestic box office. Looking at Pacific Rim again, that movie in weekend two fell 57%. But 
That movie had a lot more competition in Weekend 2 than what Rampage is facing because Pacific Rim was going up against the openings of The Conjuring, Turbo, Red 2, and R.I.P.D. So I'm going to bring that 57% change all the way down to 50%. And if that's how things pan out for Rampage, it's going to make another $18 million. So now it is time for my number one. And it is A Quiet Place. It is outperforming The Conjuring right now. And it's to the point that I don't even think that I could look at specific numbers. So instead, I'm switching gears and I'm looking at its percent change trend. So with The Conjuring in Weekend 3, its percent change came down 5%. Can that happen with A Quiet Place? I do think that's a real possibility, especially given the limited new competition this weekend. So if that happens, and if its percent change comes down to 30%, that means this movie is making another $23 million in its third weekend. Wow, this is incredible, and I'm loving it. Time to recap. At number one, I've got A Quiet Place with $23 million. Rampage is coming in at number two with $18 million. Then I've got I Feel Pretty at number three with $14 million. Truth or Dare taking the number four spot with $7.5 million. And then finally, Super Troopers 2 opening at number five with $7 million. So those are my predictions, but it is still your turn, both here and also over at Fantasy Movie League. Hit that comment section below, share your picks for your top five right there. Also, go over to the Fantasy Movie League website, join the predictions with Perry League, and enter your picks there as well to play that game. And then next weekend, I'll circle back and I'll give a shout out to whoever performed the best in this first weekend of play. Don't forget, there's also a cumulative competition happening with this thing. So there will be a big winner towards the end. We'll keep an eye on who that might be. Now I've got Patreon shout outs to give. And this weekend, I've got two of them and they are going to Lewis and Steven Garrow. You guys have been part of the team for quite a while now. So one, thanks for being here at all, because it really does mean a lot to me. And two, thanks for sticking with the campaign, because one of my favorite parts of the Patreon process has been building a community on that page. So thank you guys so much for being a part of that. It means a lot to me. Thanks to everybody watching this video right now. Please like and share, and I will see you next week with more box office predictions.